You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description. For a jump pad, we first need to set up our player script inside. Create a constant or variable for the jump pad height. You could instead use jump height with multiplication, although I recommend having a direct constant or variable for the jump pad height. To create the jump pad, create a new scene with the node 2D as the core. Right click, rename, rename it to jump pad, then go to scene, scene save as, and save it. Add a sprite 2D node to the scene. Add the texture to the art atlas that you can download for free, link in the description. Then under texture, change the filter to nearest as we are using pixel art. Then go to region, enable, edit region, set the snap mode to grid snap, roll in with the mouse wheel, then select the jump pad. Set the offset to negative 4 on the y axis, and set the position to 4 on the y axis as well. This is to reposition the origin of the sprite to help with our animation that changes the sprite scale. Add an animation player node as a child, go to animation, new, name it activate, set the snap mode to true, then set the snap to 0.1, then set the total time of the animation to 0.4. You can use control or command plus scroll wheel to zoom in. Now while the animation tab is open, select the sprite, then press the keyframe next to scale. Move the playhead to 0.1, unlock the content ratio, then set the scale to 1 by 0.75, and keyframe. Move the playhead to 0.3, set the scale to 1.15, keyframe. Move the playhead to 0.4, reset the scale, and keyframe. Now to make this animation smoother, select the first keyframe, then hold shift and select the third, then right click the easing and set it to ease out. Now select the second keyframe, hold shift and select the fourth, right click easing and set it to ease in. Finally, select the animation player node and change the speed scale to 1.5. Add a static body 2D to the scene, add a collision shape 2D node as a child, set the shape to a rectangle 2D, and set the size to 8x8. This is the collision that is needed in the case that the player walks into the sides or the bottom of the jump pad. Now to detect the player node, add an area 2D node to the scene, add a collision shape 2D node as a child, set the shape to a rectangle, set the size to 8x2, then set the Y position to negative 4. This area 2D will be used to detect the player trying to bounce on the jump pad. Now select the jump pad node and add a script. Then select the area 2D node, go to node, signals, right click the body entered signal, connect, connect it to the script. Inside the script, we'll first check if the body colliding with the area 2D has the constant or variable called jump pad height. If so, then we set that body's y velocity to the jump pad height in the same way that we activate jumping in our player. Then we grab our animation player node and run the activate animation. Additionally, because of our method to detect that it is the player node, we can also add a variable or constant of the name jump pad height to any body within our game, including enemies, allowing them to have jump pad interactability. Now you have a simple jump pad that you can add to any of your 2D platformer games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.